you want to find the value of x given that you have x to the power of 6 equals x open bracket x minus 2 to the close the bracket to the power of 6 let's have it to the solution then from here we have x to the power of 6 let's take this one to this side to be minus open bracket x minus 2 close the bracket to the power of 6 then we should let everything equal 0 let's respect this power 6 as x to the power of 3 to the power of 2 so 3 times 2 will give us back our 6 minus x minus 2 to the power of 3 again to the power of 2 to be equals 0 3 times 6 will give us back our 3 times 2 will give us back our 6 this is the difference of 2 square and when you have a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2 this equals as when you have a minus b or a plus b multiplied by a minus b so from here when you apply this theorem to this expression it implies that we have our a to be equals x to the power of 3 then it implies that our b equals x minus 2 to the power of 3 so we cannot substitute everything here our b will be x minus 2 to the power of 3 x minus 2 to the power of 3 then we close it as this then again multiply by we have here again as x cube then minus b is x minus 2 we close the bracket to the power of 3 then we have everything to be equal 0 then from here what are you saying is that for this expression to be equal 0 is either we have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 2 to the power of 3 equals 0 or we have x to the power of 3 minus x minus 2 close the bracket to the power of 3 equals 0 before you can have this expression to be equal 0 then from here let's apply the sum of 2 cube when you have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 this equivalent as when you have a plus b all in bracket then multiply by a square minus a b plus b square as this so this implies that when we apply this theorem here we are going to have x sorry we are going to have x plus our b will be x minus 2 x minus 2 as this then our a is x will be x square then our a minus a will be minus x multiplied by x minus 2 then plus our b square will be x minus 2 out square equals 0. Now when we open the bracket, we see this one will be plus, will be x plus x will be 2x, then minus 2, then multiply by here will be x square, we open this one will be minus x square, here will be plus 2x. Then open this one, we are going to have x square minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Then from here we are going to have this. Let's factor 2 out 2 into x minus sorry x minus 1. Open the bracket. Here will be this, we cancel this. So we are left with only x squared plus 2x minus 4x will be minus 2x. Then we have the constant to be 4 plus 4. We have everything to be equal to 0. So when we divide 2 by 2, we have x minus 1 multiplied by x squared minus 2x plus 4 to be equal to 0. Then obviously, from here, we have our x minus 1 to be equal to 0. Or we have x squared minus 2x plus 4 to be equal to 0. And here we have our x to be equal to 1. This is the first real solution. Then to solve for the second solution, we are going to apply law of quadratic that we have our x to be equals minus b positive or negative root root of b square minus 4ac then divided by 2a so this implies that we have so we have x to be equals our b equal the coefficient of x here is minus 2 so here will be 2 then positive or negative root of then minus 2 square will be here will be 4 minus 
4 times a, the coefficient of x squared is a, which is 1. 4 times 1 will be 4. Multiply by c, the constant value c is 4 here will be 16. We have it to be minus 16. Divided by 2 times 1 will be 2. So here will be 2, positive or negative, roots of 4 minus 16 will be minus 12. Then all divided by 2. So from here we have our x to be equals to positive or negative roots of 12 times roots of minus 1 divided by 2. Then this root of minus 1 equals i. So here we have x to be equals 2 positive or negative. Then root of 12 equivalent to as 2 root 3. Then multiply by i divided by 2. So from here we have our x to be equals 2 divided by 2 positive or negative 2 divided by 2 root 3i. So finally also we also have another complex solution to be 1 then positive or negative root 3i. So mind you that we have the previous solution to be x equals 1. Here is what we got for the first one. Then let us recall that we also have this x to the power of 3 then minus x minus 2, we have minus open bracket x minus 2 to the power of 3 to be equal to 0. So this is the second one. When we apply a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, that equals a minus b, then multiply by a square plus ab plus b square. So applying it here, we are going to have our a is x. So we have x minus, this will be x minus 2, we close the bracket as this, then multiply by x square will be, a square will be x square, plus a is x, multiply by b, x minus 2, plus b square will now be x minus 2, all square. Then we have everything to be equal zero. From here, we can see that, x open the bracket with minus minus x plus 2 then multiply by from here we are going to have x square open the bracket we have plus x square minus 2x open this one again we are going to have it to be plus x square then minus 4x plus 4 close the bracket everything equals 0 then this, we cancel this. We have only two left outside as this. So from here, x squared plus x squared plus x squared, we give us 3x squared. Then we have minus 2x, minus 4x, we give us minus 6x. So plus 4 equals 0. Dividing through by these two, we are going to have 3x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals 0. And so therefore, guys, by applying the quadratic formula as x equals minus b, positive or negative, root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Then, we must know that our a is the coefficient of x where here is 3. Then, our b is the coefficient of x is minus 6. Then, our c is the constant value. c will be equals 4. So now, from here, when we substitute all this, we are going to have our x to be equals, then our b is negative already, here will be 6, positive or negative, root of this square will be 36, minus 4, multiplied by a is 3, multiplied by c is 4, divided by 2, our a is 3. So, we have our x to be equals 6, positive or negative, root of 36, here is 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 4, so here will be minus 48 followed by 6. Then we have our x to be equals 6, positive or negative, root of 36 minus 48, we give this one, this and this will be minus 12 and all divided by 6. The main looking at this equivalent to 6 positive or negative 2 root 3i. This divided by 6. So we have our x to be because let's divide 2 by 6. 6 divided by 6. 
positive or negative 2 root 3i divided by 6. So this and this we cancel. We have our x to be equals 1, positive or negative. This and this we cancel, we have it to be root 3i divided by 3. So finally, we can declare all the solution as x1 equals 1 for the real solution. Then the x2 will be equals 1 plus root 3i. Then x3 will be equals 1 minus root 3i. Then x4 will be equals 1 plus root 3i divided by 3. Then we also have x5 to be equals 1 minus root 3i divided by 3. So if you are new find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. So these are the five positive value of x. Well, if you want to check, we can check for the real solution. So now let us check x to the power of 6 equals x minus 2 to the power of 6. When x equals 1, let's see, we have 1 to the power of 6. Is it going to give us as 1 minus 2 to the power of 6? And this equals minus 1 only bracket to the power of 6. So, obviously, this is even number, and this will give us 1. Then, mind you that when you have something like this, minus 1 inside the bracket with the power of even, so the output will be positive. So, we have here to be 1. So, this is true for this can check for this one. Bye-bye.